Enemy down. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a small secret if you want to improve your controller movement instantly and when to use it. So this video is gonna be really small, just three tips for now. If you guys want more tips, leave in the comment. Hopefully, maybe hundred likes, possibly who knows. All right, let's get into it. That's like that's like nice. What the? So one of the most important mechanics in Apex Legends is the fatigue jump or fatigue wall jump. It's really important you can do it on console and on PC. See so like on console this is what you will usually do or be able to do. On PC you can add tap strafing but don't worry this video is going to be PC and console friendly for controller players so I'm not going to do any tap strafing. But yeah the joystick is really important. Nice. Alright, so here's the secret sauce for wall bounce fatigue. You're gonna see in a moment, right here. Now look at the difference. So, usually, what people teach you on YouTube is like, all right, so you, when you wall bounce, you just move the stick to the left in the direction you want to go, right? Yes and no. So if you do it in the circular motion, it's going to be much better. You're going to have better wall bounce fatigue. Especially if you add tap scraping if you're on PC, much better. So on console, 100%. You might have seen other tutorial videos on how to wall jump, but let me tell you how I wall jump. So most people would just go towards the wall, press jump once you make contact, and there you go, wall jump, but that's not it. That's how you do it. This is the correct way to do a wall jump. It has higher chance of success than the usual um, wall jump that most people post on YouTube on how to do. It's better to flick down the joystick in the direction you want to go. Down, left, right, whichever way. It's all about the timing. See, like that. Oh no, he's at, he has aimbot. He can see the targets. What can I do? So keep in mind, all this movement takes time and practice. If you don't put in the hours, you don't get the results. Plain and simple. And the question is, well, when can I use movement in my gameplay? It's up to you, man. I can't decide. No one can decide. You do your own thing, man. That's a fun part of movement. You can do it whenever you want. You want to move to the left? Move to the left. Move to the right? Move to the right. Now take a step back, y'all. All right, I got sidetracked. But anyway, yeah. You can use movement whenever you want to do it or you feel comfortable doing. Plain and simple. All right, so skip jumping is similar to the fade slide and I'm gonna show you with tap breaking. All right, skip jumping. It might not seem like a big deal. It's similar to the fade slide, but the fade slide is basically you crouch, slide, and that's not it. Looks cool though, right? So skip jumping is basically you crouch, you go forward, you press your jump and crouch at the same time while you're pulling out your weapon. 
So three input at the same time. Well, four when you're moving forward. And that's you get skip jumping. And I'm not doing capture thing whatsoever right now. So you can do it on console and on PC. Mouse and keyboard also can do it. So the thing is, you have to be really precise with the timing. It's not where you can just do it at any time. No, you do it thoroughly, you get that slide, and you're just stuck out in the open. If you do it too late, well, you're dead. 